Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I try to paint Nigel Owens, uh, the 49 Welsh rugby referee, referee this 100th international game last weekend and uh, for the occasion he got also from Ahmed uh, a couple of very beautiful whistles. Nigel Owens was born in uh, Mini Cherrick in Carmarthenshire in Wales. Yeah, that's a difficult name. In uh, May 2007, Owens publicly came out as gay in an interview with uh, Wales on Sunday. Uh, Owen said uh, that coming out uh, was a, a difficult decision and as it happens often he was victim of uh, suicidal thoughts when he was just uh, 26. Nigel Owens openly said it's such a big taboo to be gay in this line of work, in sport, and I had to think very hard about, uh, about it because I didn't want to jeopardize my career. Coming out was very difficult and I tried to live with who I really was for years. I knew I was different from my late teens, but uh, I was just living a lie. Those are the words of Nigel Owens. Nigel Owens challenged with his decisions not only his career as international referee, but also his personal life. What was remarkable was the answer from the other side, where Nigel Owens could count on the support of the rugby world. In the same year, Nigel won various awards and started supporting a few interesting projects on humanitarian nature. If I would talk about his career, I would need to speak for hours, so I will cut it short and will just tell you the landmarks from uh, Nigel Owens. He started his uh, European adventure during the season 2000-2001 in the European Challenge Cup season, refereeing London Irish against Piacenza. In the same year, he was one of the first three Welsh Rugby Union professional referees. Then, in, uh, in the Heineken Cup, he did his debut in uh, 2002 with the match between Calvisano and Perpignan. Also in 2002, he uh, debuted in uh, the Celtic League. Nigel Owens uh, refereed many finals until the first debut in 2007 in the Rugby World Cup. He distinguished himself not only on the good refereeing skills, that uh, we expect from him, but also by his humor. That makes his refereeing quite unique. As I said at the beginning, Nigel Owens reached his 100th uh, international match referee last weekend on the 28th of November in the Autumn Nation Cup between France and Italy. He became then the first referee to reach the landmark. And for the occasion, the ACME whistle in the uh, UK uh, donated to him a couple of uh, 
very beautiful golden uh, whistles. Um, I remember when I did referee rugby, I always had and only had Acme whistles and I could challenge anybody to find a better whistle. I refereed for four years in uh, Switzerland and I must say I really really enjoyed uh, the time with the other referees and the, and the matches I was uh, assigned to. I also traveled a bit abroad where uh, well, I was really thankful that uh, this uh, hobby gave me the opportunity to travel so much and uh, on the other hand I remember at every uh, lesson, theoretic lesson or also practical we always uh, refer to, to Nigel Owens as, uh, as the example. The attitude to the game and uh, also the, the enthusiasm and also of course the empathy with the players. I also played rugby in 15 and 7 and uh, I remember my time as a player and I always pictured the, my role as referee as uh, I see it from a player point of view and uh, I think the method that, uh, that Nigel Owens uses is actually very spot on and, and very good to lead the game, to help the game to successfully take place. I saw the golden whistle that Nigel received for his uh, 100th uh, international match and it looked amazing. Um, I just had to, to place it in, in the video and I also um, wrote on, uh, on her email the guys, the, the fellas from Acme and uh, they were very happy to hear that I want to do this tribute for, uh, for Nigel Owens. In the drawing I also try to make a golden whistle, uh, it's uh, been not easy, like uh, the form and the shape, but uh, very hard to, uh, to make it of the right color, gold. The Acme whistle is this year 150 years old and they always provide the most optimal product in Rugby 15 and as well as uh, in Rugby 7s. The whistle indicates non-verbally if a penalty, a scrum or a try has been called and it is the perfect example of international language of rugby together with the referee primary and secondary signals. I'm very happy that I could bring on this tribute to life and uh, for the best referee of our time and for the great person that is behind this uh, authoritarian image. The world is glad that uh, Nigel went on with his career and inspired the whole generation to get closer to the discipline of rugby as players and also as referees. If you liked the video please let me know in the comment below or subscribe if you are hungry for more. I will try to update once a week if I have time and if I make it, but it's uh, surely a hard work of mounting videos. You can contact me also anytime if you want through the comments or per email if you have any wishes or challenges that uh, you wanna that you wanna give me. I will. Uh, link you in the description below the uh, 
the website of the ACME and uh, also some other interesting facts. I wish you a great day. Ciao.